You've been waiting to build a new PC, mostly because your old PC is dead or you've been waiting to get an upgrade for the longest time ever. But things have been out of stock. But now, with GPU prices stabilizing and stock being a non-issue, is now the time to fully invest in a new system? Maybe something like the AMD Radeon and Ryzen system? Today, we are here to answer your burning questions, especially with a brand new pair of eyes. Ooh. Hi guys. Hey. Yeah, I'm not late. I'm a fresh pair of fresh pair of eyes. I, I, I eat one pair enough, right? I mean, that's all you have, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring my specs, so like, well, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, if only if you only did, then we have more pairs of eyes, right? One pair. No matter what, your pair will be enough. Mm. It's okay. So, welcome back to the Invader PC showroom. No, it's good to be back. Very very happy to be here. Yeah, so why don't you introduce a bit uh, of yourself to all of us? Yes, yes, so um, I am a music and gaming content creator. So I'm also a live stream host and I DJ. I do some design work here and there. Wear many hats, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good. Because hmm. today, right, we are actually going to be testing AMD's uh, Ryzen and Region systems to actually okay. see if they can do multiple things. Mm. So the main thing is that we want to see if they can perform like gaming and in things like maybe streaming or even doing both at the same time. Yes. So, you know, it's a good thing that you do both of that because we'll be trying to see if the system can handle those tasks. So, for today's system, we'll be taking a look at... Oh, Nothing happened. This system right here. So, this system is actually a variation of our master line of systems which is more or less focused towards eSports gamers. So, for this system, it's actually equipped with AMD's latest 5600 CPU and also the 6750 XT GPU. So, we'll be trying to push the system in 4K using God of War, as you can see right here. Good game. And we'll be also trying to record gameplay to see if the CPU actually bottlenecks. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. And we're back from our testing. That's right. Yeah, so to kind of sum it up, Mm. When it came to testing, we ran all our benchmarks and testing and got a walk, as you can see right here. Boy, that was fun. Yeah, so to kind of break it down, we basically tested both CPU and mm. GPU. So for the CPU itself, how we did it is that while we were doing the testing through our GPU testing, we actually used AMD's Adrenaline software to actually record the footage, putting the CPU under heavy load to encode and process the footage. Mm. Now moving on to the GPU, we actually ran uh, basically, a few scenarios for Mel to try, both on native and FSR. Yes. Yeah, so maybe you want to share a bit more? Uh, we had fun. We were playing God of War, so we went through some boss encounters, ran around the game, just to see how things are, you know, with the differences of the settings. So uh, we tried the native one, yep. and then we put on FSR 2.0. We tried out the balance mode, performance mode. So at first when we got into the boss encounter, you know, a lot of fights and a lot of things going on, I honestly didn't see much of a difference. Yeah, so... So I mean that's interesting. So hmm. when it came to the actual statistics, right, in terms of frame rate FPS, there was actually a substantial increase, about maybe 20 FPS or so, when we did yeah. FSR. Hmm. But the thing is, because credit to God of War, it is actually a decently optimized game. So even though it was a boss fight and there was a lot of particles around, it was fairly stable. So that's probably the reason why you didn't see and feel any difference. Yeah, it felt stable, sure, yeah, that's why. And then there was this other scene that I got to. Uh, I just wanted to do something chill, maybe go to some corner and try out the textures in yeah. when I changed the uh, settings. I could see that it's a lot more visible, the difference. When yeah. I just switch my, push my mouse around, the cursor around, and I can see a little of jaggedness, you know, and stuff like that. When I turn on FSR, it was a lot smoother. Correct. FPS was higher, so it was awesome. Mm. So fun fact, for that scene itself, right, even mm. though there wasn't a lot of things going on, the thing is because there was a lot of things to render in that scene itself. Okay. For example, the CV, the foliage, and also the rocks itself. Ah, yes, yes. So because of that, right, when it came to native resolution at 4K, it's actually quite a bit to render. But when we use the FSR, because we are generally encoding at a lower resolution and then upscaling, it's actually a lot easier to run, which is why there's a lot of uh, FPS bump. Yes. And which is why it's also smoother. Yeah, it felt a lot smoother. And more or less, to wrap it all up, mm. right, to answer your question on if the AMD 
Ryzen and Radeon system, right? R and R. Yeah. R and R. It's actually worth a buy and worth actually considering. We have this system to thank. The color very interesting. No, of course, this system is tailored specifically for you. Your favorite color. Together with this monitor, which is also your favorite color. Not my favorite color. Together with your second favorite color. Second favorite color. <laughs> so, more or less, uh, this system right, is actually part of the team system. Mm. So, you can find out more at our website, dealerpc.com. But to sum it up short, we had a few customers saying that they actually wanted to create a more of a team system for their own. Some of them wanted a full black system, some of them wanted a full white system, and some of them even requested a pink one like you see here. So because of that, we will be actually catering to these customers more by creating more team builds. And what you see right here is just one of them. And you can find out more at our website down below. Now, to sum things up, I hope this gives you a better idea on what AMD can do for you, especially with their new technologies like FSR 2.0, which stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or even things like the Adrenaline software. But one thing we can know for certain is that with AMD as of right now, especially as they are progressing, it is, oh, how do I put this? They basically allow their components to really punch up above their class. Mm. Like what we can see here, this system is actually a very mid-range system that is generally catered towards 1440p. Mm. But today, we have pushed it to the limits with 4K and you can see that it's more or less running pretty fine. In fact, I would say it's quite a smooth experience. Yeah, it was. Right? And before we move on, I'd like to thank AMD and ASUS for giving us the chance to actually test the system. Mostly AMD though. But thank you AMD. <laughs> You know, and then also like to thank Mel for actually taking the time out to actually film with us and also experiencing this together. Of course, of course, I had fun. So I stream a lot of games, right? So, yeah. you know, having a very smooth experience while I'm streaming and recording and gaming at the same time, this has really uh, proven to be a really, really awesome test for me. Yeah. Mm. So if you want, maybe you want to tell our viewers how they can find you? Oh yes, yes, you can find me at Melvelous on my socials. I do stream on um, platforms like Twitch, you know, I also do music content. So yeah, hope to see you guys around. Yeah, so all the details will be in the description box below. Yes, follow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know in the comments down below if you wanted to see a bit more of a deeper dive into technology such as FSR. Yes. Or you know, what AMD or even the competitor NVIDIA has to offer. Ooh. Right? And make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye-bye. Peace.